Alright, so this morning I'm going over to see Nathaniel. Um, he's about 20 30 minutes from me. So I'm going to go over there and see his two wheel drive super cab. And we're going to do a little video on how to fit an uh, EGR removal kit that I do. So I suppose you could call this uh, EGR delete. Sounds a bit VW, don't it? But yeah, basically getting rid of the whole EGR system, cooler, valve. Um, all the lines, all the back, everything basically. So we'll show you how to do that now. <laughs> we're going to delete the EGR, so we're going to unbolt the cooler back here, get rid of these lines and loop them over to the coolant tree in this corner. Get rid of this, this and this. Get rid of the valve and put a dummy block over it. We can get rid of these vac lines, EGR position sensor, and all three of these solenoids and their vac lines. Um, basically just neaten up the engine bay a bit, get rid of that. Right, so we're just going to unplug the EGR position sensor. That's that. I've cracked these off. It's worth using a six point socket so you don't round the old nuts off. I'm going to take that off. There's two bolts there and there for the cooler. And again, two bolts here and here. So you might want an extension or a wobble extension on those. I'm not in my best clothes. <laughs> it's okay, I've got Crocs on. That's a necessity. <laughs> we'll keep those nuts because we need those. You can obviously get new gaskets as well, but half the time you can get away with just... Hmm. Reusing them. Get rid of all these now. Nathaniel's car is a bit different because it's not got the intake butterfly on there here. Um, yours will have a fourth solenoid here that changes the intake shutter. Get rid of that either way. You can get rid of all four solenoids. Nathaniel's only got three, so we're going to unplug the three. And happy days. We'll uh, unclip them in a bit as well. slide out. So you push that tab down. That one slides out. Push that tab down. That one slides out. And they all slide out. And basically we're not going to need any vacuum for the engine so we can pop this off as well. Plug that. So you might have to find a screw. Yeah I've got some. Awesome. But yeah. That's the vent for the EGR as well, so you can take that off as well. The whole lot. So not only it's better for the engine, but it's also weight reduction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just put that off there instead. I'm going to get rid of that. Importantly though, do leave the do leave this one because that's your boost pressure sensor. So you need, you're going to need that. So yeah, obviously leave that there. There's two clips on that one, so you can put that little clip off of that. Reuse that somewhere else, whatever you feel like. Mm -hmm. But yeah, basically that's what it will look like. If you want to be really anal, you can obviously unbolt these little plate holder things and put the nuts back on the bracket. That's definitely what I'm going to do. So yeah, and then just pop them somewhere safe like the other one because obviously this doesn't have the butterfly valve so that's the factory one that's just left like that the ECU won't care okay, so they yeah. just attach them all together just yeah do they need to be like uh, watertight or? you can put insulating tape over the end of them yeah it won't hurt okay yeah so the back of the exhaust manifold has got the flange for the EGR on it Take these bolts out. Heat the hose is kind of in the way of this one. So that's two of the bolts out. This cord will now come off, but we've got to take the two brackets off the yep. side of the head. Use 
DJ for that one as well. And then we should be able to lift the entire EGR system pretty much straight off. Not only is it weight reduction, you can sell the old EGR cooler. <laughs> Get some beer money. That's all the bolts. There we go. That just needs a bit of uh, love with a hammer to set that free. Oh, it's still attached. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and we'll take the coolant lines off next. So we get a 10 mil on that coolant line. We'll cut this coolant line shorter and link it to here. Also, because the fanals is a two wheel drive, there's no coolant line for the turbo, so that's been capped off right there. So the triple T is actually just two, it's a double. So yeah. I'm going to take this clamp off the coolant lines. It's got a dirty great big self tapper for it. And then it unclips from the side. Like that. They come out and then we can undo them. And we're basically just taking it from here, from the thermostat housing, and linking it straight to this uh, T piece on the head, and getting rid of the loop of the EGR. Shove a rag down there so you don't drop the 10 mil. And uh, basically, this line here, we're going to pop that off now and replace it with this one, but shorter. So we're going to saw through this aluminium sheath and then get some cutters on the hose, trim it back and pop it in that way. Hey. We can get rid of this now. Thank you. I'll give you that. Yes. Yeah. Weight reduction. Pop that coolant. Pop that back in there. Turbo pipe, and then we'll um, untangle this from behind the alternator bracket, and then we'll just cut it about here, I think, and bang it on there, which is cool. If you want to be really anal, you can get rid of that clamp. It's up to you. you don't need it. Don't need it. Take just it another 12 mil bolt. Yeah, I'll take it off. Awesome. Get rid of that. Thank you. Weight reduction. Try and shove that aluminium back a bit so we can fit the hose clip on the end of there. So the only thing we will want to save is the hose clip off of that other part. Pop it over there and pop it on there. Simple as. There you go. Simple as that. So it just comes down to plates now. So we're going to reuse the stainless plate for the exhaust. I'm going to take the plastic coating off of it. He says, "Don't bite your fingernails, kids." <laughs> <laughs> you look like an idiot. There you go. So the plastic coating's off of that. And then we can use the new bolts. Pop that in. Look at that kit. The quality. There's quality. If you want to be anal, you could put a copper slip on these bolts, but they are stainless, so they're not going to, you know, they shouldn't rust in there. Mm. <laughs> so, copper slip on those, like we said. We can do it good, but we can do it better. Um, all tight. Oh, wrong way on the ratchet spanner. Yep. So we've reused the gasket. It shouldn't leak. 
shouldn't do because the plate's pretty strong and it should pull down nice and evenly. But um, sometimes I do put a coat of copper slip on the bottom of it. Depends. But yeah, gaskets look cool. okay. So we can do that one now. It's literally a case of slapping it on top. Stick that back on there like that. Cheers. So there's a machine face that's been face milk dead flat. That goes downwards. Pop the ice. Put the nuts back on. Just like that. Job done. Just like that. So you can leave that, you can cable tie that up, tuck it in there or something. The ECU is not going to be worried, as long as it's unplugged. If it sees a bad value, it will throw a mm -hmm. plug light on, but if it's unplugged, it's fine. So yeah, decent. Cool. Well, job done. So that's the corner tree that we put the original line to and then obviously those are the bolts for the corner bracket that's the exhaust plate and that's the intake plate and that's where the solenoids were all right we're in the family's mini truck now yeah A bit more responsive. Yeah. Decent. How weird's that look? No transfer case. <laughs> <laughs> Just one stick. Short shift this thing, yeah? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Gonna do Nathaniel a mega short shifter. So it raises it 23 mil and reduces the pivot point. So it's gonna be like need for speed. <laughs> What's the throw light on a normal box on a two-wheel drive? Is it the same Third, sort? Third two. Oh, it's the same as a four wheel then basically. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Speed bumps. <laughs> it's quite low, quite wide I suppose. Yeah. Decent. It is a bit more expensive. What, on and off the throttle? Yeah. Ah, oh, good. People were asking me if I got more miles to the gallon and I was like, I don't really know because I've always been tinkering with other stuff so I couldn't really honestly tell you. But a couple of people reckon it gives you more but I don't really know, you know, yeah, yeah. how much. I don't really know. It's not something that we worry about. <laughs>